how to generate a bunch of LinkedIn leads with one click. Why leads are very important. You can sell them through email marketing, be it newsletter or sales emails or other type of email marketing. You can sell them through social media content because now they are familiar with you. They know what you offer, what you do, and they watch your content. You can retarget them with all of these platforms with paid advertisements. You can sell them through phone if you are selling a higher ticket item, for example, $1,000, $2,000, etc. You can invite them to webinars. With webinars, you can provide a lot of free value, teach them stuff that will help them with their business, and then also make offers to them and sell your products that will be useful to them. You can also create personalized sales videos, which actually convert really well. If you have all of the information about your leads, as we will get in this tutorial, then you can really make a personalized video, which convert a lot higher than other forms of advertisement. You can also expand your network. So these relationships will not only pay off in the short term where you sell them something, but they will also pay off in the long term, especially if they keep buying a lot more of your other products as well. And maybe even the most important thing, they could spread the word of mouth. They would tell all of their friends how amazing your product is. And it's a well-known fact that word of mouth is the best way to sell the highest conversion rate. So basically all of your leads will become your best salespeople that work for free. Here you can see I have a lot of LinkedIn profiles open. These are all of my potential clients, potential leads. And if I just uh, click here on this new tool that I will explain, add to a new spreadsheet, and I can click all tabs, a new Google spreadsheet will open and all of the data will be magically written from all of the open tabs into this Google spreadsheet. So you can have as many open tabs as you want. You can get 100 leads instantly. Then I will show you how to make a make.com automation that will take all of the lead information from your leads and it will generate a custom email with your offer that's specifically tailored for that lead. So for each lead, we're gonna create a custom email. So for example, here, this is an example for this lead. And we have another example for this lead and this is 100% automatic. For this, we will use this tool called Magical, a sponsor of today's video. With Magical, you can open a bunch of website tabs like this. It doesn't matter which website and you can choose which data you want to collect, which I will show you how and just press a button and it will collect all of this data magically into either Google Sheets or Airtable or wherever you want. This works with absolutely any website, even in your internal company specific tools because they are using HTML. So the only requirement is for you to load those websites into your browser to open them. You can open 50 of them and you can scrape all of them at once. So get magical at getmagical.com or the link in the description below so we can proceed with the tutorial. Let's start by searching real estate agents and clicking here to people. Then I'm just gonna right click and open a few of these in a new tab. And then in the new tab, I'm gonna click here to magical. And so here, uh, if I click here, we can see all of the data that we can get from this uh, page. If you want to get some more data, for example, I want to get number of followers. I just click the whole thing here. And then I can say followers like this. And now we will also track this data as well. So you can select any data you want. Let's say I also want to add this about section. So let me first click done because I want to be able to click on the uh, page here. So I'm going to say see more and then let's click here again, add site info. And then I'm going to click, but make sure to click like all of it. And then I'm going to say about four, create about four. I'm going to save it. So we want to make a new uh, label here and now it should appear here. Done. Now you can also click find email and it's going to find email of this person. We can go to other tabs and do the same. Now, I think if we click here, we can see that this, let me refresh. And now if I click here, uh, we can see that this about is also added. Now that we defined this field, go back to your search and now you can open a bunch of more uh, these profiles and then all of them will have this about added. So let's go here, open this magical just to check. And I'm gonna 
click uh, find email. I'm going to click find email here as well. Let's click e e on each of these. And then I can uh, click here, add to a new spreadsheet. And then I can add all tabs at once, all of the open tabs at once. And now we can wait for a few moments and see the magic happen. And we can see all of them magically added all at once. You don't need to enter anything manually. We have a headline, we have job title, uh, last name, first name, URLs of the LinkedIn profile that we can also scrape if we want to and about section and contact information. Now, if it happens that some of these don't have contact uh, email, there are other ways to contact uh, people on LinkedIn. So besides email, you can also send them DM. So you can just send the message that we generate personal message with in DM, but it, they must be your connection. If they are not your connection, you can just send connection requests to everybody. So you can go through search results. And then after LinkedIn sees which kind of people you are sending connections to, for example, real estate agents, you can also use recommendations because it will recommend them to you. Then you can also buy a uh, LinkedIn premium, you have, I think, two weeks of free trial. So you don't need to pay anything for two weeks. Then you can cancel and you can send DMs to anybody, not just connected people. And also there are uh, some people have open profiles with premium, uh, premium feature, LinkedIn premium. So they can be messaged by anybody. So for example, this person has a LinkedIn premium and you can message them because they open their messages to anybody. So we have subject and message here. Now let's go to make.com and create a new scenario. Let's look for Google Sheets. And then we will scroll down and say watch new rows. And we need to create a new connection. So create a connection, just sign in with Google. And then we're going to say, uh, so let's rename this to real estate magical leads, for example. Let's go here. We're going to wait for a moment real estate magical lead so select your sheet then this is going to be sheet one and limit two so we can let's uh, do two by two so first two at once and second two etc or i can just set limit one for now uh, let's uh, start let's do for all okay so now uh, let's say chat gpt and create a completion and what I clicked here, all, it means like we are starting from the beginning, from the first one doing all. We are not starting from like specific one. Okay, and then let's add a connection here. So I'm going to go Google OpenAI, OpenAI, OpenAI API keys and then click here OpenAI platform. So you should log in or sign up. If you don't see this screen exactly, go here to dashboard and then API keys create a new secret key. I'm going to name it tutorial. You can name it real estate leads, create a key, copy, and now go back and add a connection and paste your key here. Now I already have a connection, so I'm going to choose this connection. And then let me move this here model. I'm going to choose GPT for row mini because there is no need for a better model role system. So the prompt will be composed personal email for my cold outreach campaign. I will give you data and then I explain my offer. So I'm offering a chatbot uh, that can answer questions, schedule appointments, sh show 3D view, write a personalized email based on the real estate agent uh, data and my offer. And then let's add a new message role user. Let's say lead data and then down below name. Let's say full name. Then let's say uh, job title. Let's say job title. Then company name. Uh, if you want, you can put school name, but I will not. I think I will just put about and headline. So let's first put headline. And then let's put about. And let me just for good measure, I'm going to put this and say write a per 
personalized email with the chatbot offer for this lead. Press OK. But we need to set max tokens. Let me set 1,500. And you need to press here again and press OK again if you have this kind of red error. And then we're going to save this back to the Google Sheets. So let's go here, Google Sheets. Scroll down to update a row. And then let's find the same real estate magical leads. Sheet name is the same. Row number will be this row number that we got. And then uh, let me go here and add a new row number, say email or, or message. I think this is the same. So let me just say message because we can send this as email or as message. And let me double click this control A to select all and then make bold. So now we go here, we can click here refresh to refresh the, to pull this new field. And here in message, I'm going to just put this result. Press OK. So now if I go ahead and run this once, we're going to pull this, we're going to generate a personalized email and it's going to update it here. So this is the email. Now I want to change this uh, signature. So I think I'm going to tell it to, I'm going to go here to ChatGPT, And here I'm going to say, uh, end emails with sincerely. And then I'm going to do it like this. Okay. And that what I also want to, I'd be concise. You don't have to use all data, no fluff. Just make a concise email and get to the point. So that's going to improve our prompt. And uh, if I click again, it's going to do this for the next one. But I want to actually delete this and I want to start from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is go here, right click, choose where, where to start, all, OK. And also, let's go here to this one and say limit two, or uh, let's say two. Now we're going to do two at once. So let me uh, run again. And it composed both emails at once. You can do all eight together. You can do however you want. If you want to check uh, how this, what this make actually did, you can go here to ChatGPT and click this two. So this is the first operation, the first person, the second one. So let's check the second one. Input was uh, input is what we put into the chat GPT node. So here in messages, we send two messages. The first one is our system message, a compose email, blah, blah, blah. And the second one is the user, as you remember. So if I go here, we have system message and we have user message. And then you can check values of these things here. So if I go here, uh, if I go to input messages, so second, so this is role user content. We can see job title this, company name this, headline this, etc. Now you can keep improving these messages and the GPT prompt. Get magical at getmagical.com or link in bio below. Thank you for watching.